General. 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 We've got all equipment repaired, tactite weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non-resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. But the rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? One of our combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. You've seen it firsthand. However, I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. Sir, his Sir, name his is... Name is name. Gian. 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 General, help. Help, help, help. Please, Please. help me. Help me. What do you make of this, Gian? Maybe you are right. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but... This is our only chance. to destroy is finally right before us. And now, you're asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Silence. Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? No, I see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren? friends and comrades as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes one by one will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer there is no other choice we must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The retroact rain merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We'll crush anything in our path. No questions asked and I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day if you were in my position?
Whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. General Gersh... General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. And we cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives' worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, you look pale. I'm fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky. It looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the Crescent. It's time. Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. Attention all troops! Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, a roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be?